And stay inside tonight if you can. It is a stormy start to the work week. Here's a live look at Bethlehem. The roads are a little slick after the first round of rain moved through, and now we're waiting for some storms and powerful wind gusts. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo, always watching, always tracking. Kate, what's the very latest? Jessica, we're starting to see the darkness descend now after this beautiful record breaking day. Clouds have rolled on in. We've had a couple of spotty showers, but it's not until later on this evening that a line of gusty showers will roll through with perhaps some severe wind. In gusts. Right now it is 73 still in Philadelphia. Still feels amazing outside. The dew point is 56. It's kind of steamy for the time of year, certainly. Winds are out of the south southwest right now, sustained at 17. Gusts to 25 miles per hour right now, so it is blustery. We have a wind advisory in effect for 40 to 50 mile per hour non thunderstorm wind gusts. That's happening out ahead of the front and behind it. We also have a line of gusty thunderstorms producing a threat for severe weather. Damaging wind will be the biggest threat with these. The time between about now and 9 p.m. across the region, although it's looking more like 7 to 8 in the city. Temperatures plummeting then from the 70s to the 40s by midnight and then into the 30s overnight. Storm Scan 3 shows this line of gusty showers. Again, there are some severe thunderstorm warnings still with this, although it does look to be weakening a bit. The biggest threat localized damaging winds, and this is moving quickly across central Pennsylvania and will arrive in our north and west suburbs likely within the hour and then blast on through the city and off the coast probably by 9 o'clock tonight. Storm Scan 3 again showing just a few scattered showers. Here's the timing. 7 to 8 p.m. we see this line of showers and storms pushing toward the city. It gets down the shore by about 9 o'clock and then it's off the coast. Very quick hitting line of gusty showers. Likely not even much thunder and lightning with them either. It's mainly wind and some steady downpours. 35 tonight. Once those showers roll on through, it will turn much colder with the wind advisory still in effect until 1 a.m. Tomorrow is a quiet day. It's a very seasonable March day. It's still a little breezy, but 50 degrees right about where we should be for the time of year. It's going to feel cold, though, in the wake of 77 today. Precipitation chances then go way up on Wednesday. Wednesday looks like a wet day from start to finish and even some snow in spots and then another round of rain on Saturday. So here's the system on Wednesday. We're likely to go from 70s to at least seeing a little bit of snow, mainly north and west of I-95. Looks like it's mainly a rain-snow mix and should not amount to much of anything. It'll all kind of melt when it hits the ground. We sometimes call that white rain, snow falling, but again, just wet on the roads and on the ground. And then rain right through Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening as this system starts to move on out. It is a whole lot quieter as we head through the end of the week. I want to jump forward to the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Sunday. It's going to be a little chilly out there, but the rain is done on Saturday, so at least it's dry. 42 degrees, though, with the wind out of the north and west at 10 to 15. So your eyewitness weather seven-day forecast, breezy and cooler tomorrow after tonight's gusty showers. Wednesday, snow or a mix, then rain. Thursday, just a spotty shower, but mostly dry. Then our next system approaches Saturday with the threat for rain and wind. We set those clocks forward Sunday. And it's much cooler. 42, the daytime high. Mm. Yuki, back over to you. Okay, thanks so much.